We're going to take a look at some volatile data. Now, the reason it's called volatile is because unlike information that's stored on a disk drive, with volatile information, it's actually stored in system memory. And system memory relies on some form of electric current. If that electric power or current is gone, then all of the information that is stored in memory goes along with it. So once you shut down a system, the information that's stored in memory is gone. So we call it volatile information. So what we're really looking at is data that, it, data that has been extracted from system memory somewhere. Now we're going to be using a tool called volatility. And you can see here that we've got volatility is actually right here in this directory. So you can run it straight out of here in our CFDI 340 directory where the images and the profile that we need are going to be. So the profile is actually this zip file here that gives the memory layout that volatility needs to be able to locate the information from the image that we have acquired here. So I've got a couple of samples and let me just show you how this works here. So the first thing I need to do is say plugins equals dot. That is the current directory. And I have to do that so it knows where to actually go looking for the profile. And we're going to say the profile name is Mavericks 10 underscore nine underscore three. The file name is only is only sort of related to the actual profile name. So the file name that we use is has some impact on the profile name, but volatility has its own way of referring to profile. So I'm going to say my file is going to be Mac sample to dot bin. And in this case, we're going to say, I want to get the version out of it. So I'm just going to give it a command. So Mac underscore version is the command I'm going to be using. And I can show you how you can actually extract the commands that we need. And apparently, I must have typed this incorrectly. Oh yes, it's 64, not 86. That's what I did wrong. So I'm going to do that and we're going to do Mac version. It's going to now locate the profile correctly. And then we're going to go digging through the entire one gigabit there of information. You can see now I've got my version. So this is my ker kernel version 13.2 and it looks like it was created in 2014. So that's how you would get the version out. So using volatility is very simple. You give it the location of your plugins, the profile that you want to use, give it a file, and then just tell it what command you want it to run. So let's figure out what commands we can actually run. So volatility, and I'm going to say, I am going to say, first of all, let's get a help here so you can see the different things that you can do with it. And what I want to do next is I want to get the information from it. So I'm going to say volatility dash dash info. And then I want to send that off to a utility called find string. And the string I'm going to find is Mac. And the reason for that is because the different commands that you can run against a Mac image are different from the Windows image. So anything that we're going to run against a Mac image is going to be prefixed by Mac underscore. And then it's going to say, you know, the specific command that you want to run. If you want to use a Windows image with volatility. Of course you can, it's got a wide variety of plugins for Windows images. And if I wanted to run, say, Netstat against a Windows image, all I would use would be Netstat. There would be no Mac. If you want to do it against Lindo, Linux, rather, it would be Linux underscore and then the command name. So 
we could do this again here and rather than version I'm going to get netstat information so this is going to be all of my network statistics this is a way of gathering data like the network connections that were in process while the image was actually collected so the running system had a number of network connections that were up and available at that particular point in time and so this is a way of gathering that information that we wouldn't have on disk because it only exists in memory so you can see we've got all of our network connection information here and again you can use a lot of different commands for Mac Linux and Windows and we're doing this against a Mac sample of course so if you want to run a command against the Mac sample you have to say Mac underscore and then whatever the command is